Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I want to get real about a topic that I think has affected all of us this year and it affects people in particular at this time of year and that is feeling lonely. What can you do if you feel lonely? Well, the good news is you don't just have to deal with it. I have some really great tips for you that I think are gonna really help you out. So make sure you keep on watching. Welcome back to my channel. Are you serious with me? Oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I don't understand how these things always happen to me. People often assume because I am a very confident, very bubbly, outgoing person, that I don't experience loneliness, that I must be someone who never feels lonely. And that honestly could not be further from the truth. I have experienced absolutely crushing loneliness at many times in my life. And I experienced it this year, especially going through quarantine and lockdown and not being able to see my friends and family was really hard. And it can be particularly hard if you suffer from a mental illness, like me, I suffer from a mental illness. I've spoken about it on this channel and if you wanna find out more about it, I'll link up a video I made about it recently here. But loneliness affects everyone. And so I wanna share with you today my top six tips that you can use right now, starting as soon as you finish watching this video to stop feeling lonely. Loneliness can be a little bit of a self-fulfilling prophecy in that we can really tell ourselves that we don't have any friends, we don't have anyone who cares about us, and then because of that, we isolate, and then of course we feel even more lonely. And so one of the most effective things that you can do when you're feeling lonely, and something that I actually did earlier this year that changed my life, like I cannot put into words how much this changed my life, was to break through that discomfort of feeling like no one wanted to talk to me, like there wasn't anyone who would enjoy my company and to go and talk to people. Now I'm talking about small talk. I'm not talking about going up to someone and saying, hey, do you wanna be my friend or something really confrontational like that. I'm talking about putting yourself in situations where you are around people, new people, and making small talk with them. For me, it was joining a club. I joined a spin class this year, and I have made so many great friends through that spin class. A lot of you might not know, but while I have had an amazing circle of friends throughout my life, a lot of those friends in the last year have actually moved away. So I haven't had a lot of friends around this year. And so going out of my comfort zone to that spin class and making small talk with people at spin class, which led to forming real friendships, is one of the reasons that I have so many great friends in my life right now. Now, when I talk about small talk, I mean just talking about one little thing to kind of break the ice. So for me, starting spin class, it might, even be something like finding someone else who's new to the class and you know talking to them about how nervous I am and how completely unfit I feel and then that person can kind of relate to that and have a little bit of a laugh along with me and then I would use that as an opportunity to introduce myself and say oh by the way my name's Nadia what's yours I know it's uncomfortable and trust me guys it's uncomfortable for me too being a confident person a lot of this is just an exterior that I put on, I still get nervous, but I promise you, when you really put yourself out there to someone, people appreciate it and they will talk back to you. Really, the worst that can happen is someone doesn't hear you or maybe they just don't feel like talking and so they ignore you, in which case, just go and make small talk with someone else. It really is worthwhile doing and it really can lead to creating lifelong connections. Making friends and dating and just meeting people in general is actually quite difficult. It's particularly difficult in the current climate that we're all living in. So what I would recommend is actually going online to meet like-minded people. There are websites like meetup.com and even social media going on places like Instagram and Facebook are great places to meet people with similar interests to you. For example, I am a sex positive person so I actually follow the hashtag sex positive on Instagram and then I will actually find other women who have sex positive accounts like me and 
through doing that, I have actually ended up making friendships with some of those women and meeting them in real life. Some of them have truly gone on to be some of my closest friends. We connected through the hashtag, I started commenting on their pictures, they were commenting on mine, and then we started chatting over DM. You don't have to be creepy about it, you can just say something like, hey, I think your account's really cool, I love what you're doing. What made you get interested in this particular area? And then just start the conversation from there. The worst thing that can happen is someone doesn't respond to you, in which case, just move on to the next person. So if you can't meet up with people in real life right now, depending on where you live in the world, that might be a total impossibility, it might not be safe. Meet with people online in spaces where you're finding people who like similar things to you. If you have a particular interest in a particular type of gaming, go and find an online gaming community and connect with people there. It really is a great way to meet people and to really just quench that loneliness and it's something that we don't use enough. If you're feeling lonely, I just cannot stress enough how incredibly important it is to reach out and talk to someone and not to suffer on your own. I know because you're feeling lonely, you're absolutely convinced that you're on your own right now. You're absolutely convinced that no one would want to talk to you. And trust me, I truly have been there. We can honestly be our own worst enemies in our head sometimes and really convince ourselves of the worst. Most of us are actually very good at negative self-talk and not particularly good at positive self-talk. So one thing that I did this year that massively helped me out of a really dark place and helped me to feel so much less lonely and so much more confident and gave me the confidence to go out and talk to other people and make friendships was to actually speak to a professional. I reached out to a therapist and I talked to them about what I was going through. And it's so good to talk to a therapist because they're not gonna judge you. They're actually just gonna listen and they're gonna give you really good advice. And those of you that have been following me for a while might know I actually use a service called BetterHelp. I really love them because you don't have to go and meet anyone in person. You actually just do it online. You can do it on your phone. You can do it on your computer or your tablet and you can do it any time at a time that suits you. So it feels way less intimidating speaking to the therapist because you're just doing it online and it is just so easy and accessible and it's also a lot cheaper than regular therapy, which is really good as well. So I actually reached out to BetterHelp to let them know I was making this video today because this is a video that really has a focus on mental health and you guys know I am really passionate about mental health and they've so generously offered to sponsor today's video so thank you BetterHelp for supporting my channel. I would love you guys to learn a bit more about BetterHelp and try them out for yourselves. It, it, they're not just gonna help you out of a lonely patch, but they're great for just giving you skills to feel better and more self-confident and happier in your life. And they've helped me so much too. So I wanna share with you now a little bit about what I love about BetterHelp. BetterHelp's counselors are as diverse as you are. From psychologists to marriage and family therapists, clinical social workers, and board licensed professionals, counselors, BetterHelp's team of professionals have helped almost 2 million clients live happier and more successful lives. Just fill out the short questionnaire on their website and you'll get matched with therapists based on your specific preferences. Make 2021 the year you say yes to prioritizing your mental health. Just use the link underneath the video to receive 20% off your first month with BetterHelp. One of the absolute best things I did this year for myself to get myself out of a really dark patch when I was feeling so alone was to start exercising. And I was very unfit at the time. I had not exercised in years, so I started out small. I just started going for a walk every day. That's it. And I only walked until I felt tired, which I'm going to tell you was not very long. But I did it every day to get out of the house, to get fresh air, to get lots of vitamin D from the sun, and to get those endorphins going. Because when we exercise, it gets endorphins going and those help to flood our body with lots of feel-good hormones which can help us to just feel happier and more self-confident and when we feel happier and more self-confident we're less likely to feel lonely and also when you exercise it just gives you a sense of achievement like you've really accomplished something in your day and it just 
helps to kind of boost your mood for the rest of the day. And I went from starting out just doing a 20 minute walk every day to now I go for a run, I go to spin class, I go to the gym. I'm doing so much exercise now and I'm feeling fitter and better than I ever have. But I started out small. I didn't put pressure on myself. I was patient with myself. And my only goal was just to get out of the house and to do something, even if it was only for a small window of time, just to force myself to do that. It's all about pushing out of your comfort zone. It feels awful when you're just making those first few steps, but I promise you, once you start, it feels amazing. Sometimes the reason we can feel lonely is because we just don't really enjoy our own company. And this is something I've actually struggled with a lot myself. I love being around people so much and I spend so much of my life being around people that when I'm on my own, I kind of just feel awkward and like I don't really know what to do with myself. I realized this year that I just don't really like my own company or at least I haven't really taken the time to enjoy my own company. And this year really forced me to do that because of lockdown and I was really forced to spend some time with myself. And I learned that I'm a pretty cool person to hang out with and so are you. But you need to do things that are just for yourself that are gonna make you feel really good and just enjoy spending some time on your own because sometimes it's nice to just spend some time on your own. You don't have to be dictated, have your plans dictated by anyone else or what anyone else wants or is doing. And so doing things like taking a bubble bath with a nice cup of tea or a glass of wine, having some self-pleasure time with some adult toys, <laughs> reading a book that you've always wanted to read, going and painting something or writing something down, doing those things that are just for you and really taking your time with them can actually be a really great way to just get comfortable being with yourself and to kind of learn that, hey, you're actually a pretty cool person and it's okay every once in a while to spend some time on your own. Hopefully by now you're getting the message that breaking that loneliness is really about getting out of your comfort zone. I can't sugarcoat this for you guys. It's going to feel really uncomfortable and really awful when you start doing this. But if you can just push through that feeling of discomfort and just yuckiness, I promise you when you come out the other side, you're gonna feel amazing. And I'm saying that because I did it. I did it myself this year. It's how I formed some amazing new friendships. So really just plan one thing for the new year for yourself that you are gonna do that is going to push outside of your comfort zone. Whether that's signing up to a club that you've always wanted to join or joining a gym or going and introducing yourself to your neighbor who lives next door who you've never actually formally introduced yourself to or taking up a new skill. Whatever it is, just make a plan to do one thing in the next month that is not going to feel comfortable for you. To really push through that feeling of discomfort because when you do, it feels amazing and your self-confidence gets a boost. And when you feel more self-confident, you will feel less lonely and you actually will have a way easier time talking to people. Now, all of these tips will of course help you make friends, but these tips are also great for dating. They will help you to just get out of your kind of own little bubble and meet some great new people who could turn out to be an amazing future partner. Life really is all about just taking risks. That's, that's my absolute belief and I've learned that more than ever this year. And I really hope that watching this video will inspire you to take a risk in your own life because I guarantee you it will be worth it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have felt lonely, if you feel brave, share it in the comment section down below and share your thoughts and give this video a thumbs up if you'd like more of these style of videos about just feeling better and more self-confident in your life. I know I normally talk a lot about sex, but I wanna talk more holistically about how to just feel better and more confident and happy in your life. And guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new here or if you've been watching for a while and you haven't hit it yet. I'm here every week week, usually twice a week. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.